Now, last year, we were waiting to see where Mount Carmel High School star Alec Thomas would land in the MLB draft. Now the caravan have another player drawing major league attention, a young man who already knows what the big stage is all about. Josh Friedman has his story. Ed Howard's poise and polish on the diamond earned him the nickname Silk. When I do things, people say how, oh, it looks so smooth, so effortless. Well, really, I'm trying, but, you know, it's just, it's just something that I can do. What may look effortless to others has been the product of Howard's hard work since he was a five-year-old in his backyard. The practice paid off. Prep Baseball Report ranks the 17-year-old Mount Carmel Jr. the number one player in Illinois for the class of 2020. He's in the elite. I mean, he's one of the rare uh, players that I've been fortunate to coach or even seen um, on any team at this level. Ed is no stranger to the baseball spotlight. Five years ago, he was one of the star players for the most famous Little League team in Chicago history. Back to the pitcher, double play ball. Jackson, it's over! Chicago wins the United States Championship! A 12-year-old Ed Howard was on the mound when Jackie Robinson West made history as the first all-African-American Little League team to win the U.S. Championship in 2014. I remember me screaming, I remember seeing all the crowd, and then I remember the plane ride back home, seeing Chicago and how they were in the airport and stuff, and that, that experience didn't really hit me until a few years when I was older, like what we really had done. But JRW's storybook run lacked a fairy tale ending. After a months long investigation, Little League International stripped Jackie Robinson West of its championship for using ineligible players outside the team's district. For the boys, the aftermath doesn't change their achievements on the diamond. People know that we went out there, we played our game, and like we won. And even though they took it away, what happened happened. You know, they tried to take it out the history books, but everybody still remember it. They know that we went out, we played our hearts out in front of a lot of people, so they can't really take that away. But I think it was a pretty good experience. Josh Houston played alongside Ed with JRW and does the same at Mount Carmel. In fact, the majority of those Little Leaguers still play at schools across the city and are committed to play college ball. You know, we're in touch. We, some of us play with the same summer team, White Sox A's. But we've, yeah, we've been playing against each other. This has been some pretty intense games, but you know, we're all friends at the end. Hi, my name is Ed Howard, and my favorite baseball player is Troy Tulowinski. Ed went from a four foot nine, 88 pound kid playing on the national stage to a six foot two, 180 pound teen, ready to do the same. He's committed to play baseball at Oklahoma, but hopes to have a big decision to make next summer when he hears his name in the MLB draft. I hope so. I, I think I will. I'm gonna keep working. And when I get there, whatever, whatever's the best opportunity, that's what I'll do. And he's sure to make it look effortless every step of the way. Josh Friedman for Instant Replay.